Hi everyone, my name is Bex and welcome to Bex's Bits. Today we're on the JTM Bex server and we are going to be doing the interior for this house that I've designed. It's going to be fabulous. Where'd you go? <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh, she locked off. You just leave me alone, I feel so sad. You can, okay. you can cope without me. I, I probably can. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I have um, done here is I've laid out a load of different blocks and things that I do like to use whenever I'm, you know, designing rooms and stuff. Um, so I thought the first thing, we'll block this off, we'll try and square it out a wee bit because, you know, it's a funny shape and I want two separate rooms. That's probably going to be the kitchen. So now I just have to figure out where the door's going to go. I quite like that. So we'll leave it like that. There we go. One block on. Okay. So looking at this room, I would say that the couch would be here and the TV would be on this blank wall because it's a nice big space. So I think we should do that now. That's carpet. My bad. So we're going to mark off the wall here, decide where the TV is going to go. I think the TV is going to go here. Okay. So let's get our painting, 4x4. Four I'm going to do a flat screen TV and no over in that house I did um, I added the TV sort of popping out so I thought I would do something a little bit different this time isn't that good uh -huh. you stand there looking pretty I do like to add bookshelves in my pills I just think they add a nice bit of color so I'm going to frame the TV with the bookshelves what you can do as well you can add a little bit of a shelf here and you can actually put stuff on the shelf. If you put carpets on it, the uh, painting will pop off. But you can put lanterns or, you know, potted plants, that kind of stuff on there. And the TV will stay. Blocks of you, but that's okay. Oh, for... oh my goodness. <laughs> ignore, ignore. That did not happen. Okay. Do you know what? I like that little bit of storage, looking super fabulous. Okay. Over here we're going to have the sofa. So we're going to angle it slightly. Just like that. And there you have a nice sofa to watch your TV. We're trying to fill out as much space as we can get in here. Because you want to try and fill it out so it doesn't look bland. Then we're going to add some curtains. Get the wrong block curtains here we go now you can hang them beside the windows or you can actually cover up the windows with the curtains to make it look like the curtains are closed there we go let's see where's my other trap door here floating shelf you know me I love my floating shelves and this is where we would use our heads we would add them here just a little bit of color looking super fabulous and since we've used those we can knock them off. Do you know what? I'm going to put the zombie there. Everybody loves a zombie. There we go. Okay, what have we left? Jukebox. It's nice to listen to some music. We can set it there. Or we can add it in the corner. That's a nice texture there. Let me see. Enter chest. That's an essential. If you have a beginning um, a beginning build, you want to have your ender chest to keep your shulker boxes and stuff in. So I would tend to keep this in an area that I visit quite regularly. Right, the bush. JT's agreeing. The bush and the log. You can create um, things like, you know, potted plants, you know, with that kind of look. I don't know if I'm going to add it in this. So I'm going to knock it out. Chest, put it beside the sofa. Now I have some wool here. I wanted to add a carpet to the floor I think it adds a nice sort of um, dimension to the floor because you can get like a fluffy rug so let's add a few little bit of fluffs there and a few bit of fluffs on top and there you have a nice fluffy rug what's next potted plants we use those oh we did use those knock them out oh I had stuff in there <laughs> Well, we don't need it. That's fine. Knock out the heads. I don't think we're going to use any more of those. Last sort of thing would be maybe some paintings to brighten up the room. Oh, you just had to be awkward. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I 
there I go. There's a nice, nice painting right there. And that's literally, that's it. The room's done. Now we want to add the, the light in the center of the room since we can. That means we have a limited amount of um, lanterns scattered around the place, which would look a little bit better. Oh, we have a blank spot. Oh, we could do something with, with that. Do you know what we could do? If you want to add some extra bookshelves, you can actually use carpets and just put carpets on top of the bookshelves and that just sort of ties in with the rug and makes it look a little bit more, you know, unified. So there we have a living room. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Anyone can do this, it is so simple. Next room we're gonna be working on is the kitchen. This is a lovely big room, so we'll work on this in the next episode. It's gonna be fabulous, it's gonna be fabulous. So excited. Okay, so that's all for me today. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, this has been Bex and JT, the cameraman. Bye. Bye.